Hello, welcome back. Today's video is going to be kind of um, like a get ready with me kind of video. I don't know, my hair is crazy. It's not sitting, so I just threw on a hairband and let it do its thing. Like, what is this? Seriously. I'm going to go for quite a natural look today. Um, as always, I suppose that's every day for me, but yeah. I'm going to start off with the eyes. I'm just going to prime my eyes using some concealer. Just being lazy, I suppose, using concealer to prime. But YOLO ain't nobody got time to run and get eye primer today. So I'm just going to blend all the product in. I'm going to be using the Sleek A New Day eyeshadow palette. It's really nice. I don't think I've used this yet. And I got it a while back. So it's quite pretty and nice. So that is the palette I will be using. Just picking up some powder and dusting it over that concealer. Picking up actually this shade. I don't know why I said powder. So basically I'm just going to kind of do like the most natural kind of cut crease that I can. Like a softer cut crease. I haven't done a cut crease on my channel. So today is the day. I'm just going to take a mixture of these two matte shades and just dump that into the crease. And again on the other eye. So now I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to take a more detailed brush, like a pencil brush. And I'm going to pop that into the crease. Oh, it's very pigmented. This is just going to make the look more defined. Sure, who can beat a wee bit of definition here and there? Oh, yes, cut that eye. Pencil brushes are great for cut crease looks because they're really precise and they just get right in to where you want it to go. And then I'm just going to take the blending brush that we used to pop that first colour into the crease and just go in again and make sure everything's blended out. Don't blend underneath because we're going to be covering that up with concealer now. So now I'm just going to pop some concealer onto my hand and go in with a detailing brush. I hope this works. If this doesn't work, then I don't know. So yeah, we're just going to clean up that crease. Just makes the line so much more defined and you make yourself look like a pro let's be honest just right up to where that line is just try and get it as straight as you can so then I'm just going to go in with I think maybe this shade and then just pack that on top of where you put the concealer You can always go back in with the pencil brush and just redefine it. Just make sure you point the brush upward so that it's not going on to the lid. It's going kind of into the crease. Um, I don't actually want it to be pure matte so I'm going to go in with a wee shimmer shade. Now I'm just going to go in with a clean blending brush and just make sure. I'm not going to put on eyeliner because I don't want it to take away from the cut crease. That's just my version of like a nice natural looking cut crease, like a soft cut crease. So now I'm just going to prime. I'm just going to use my Ride or Die Smashbox Primer Water. I 
think I used a bit too much there. And I'm going to go in with the Catrice Nude Illusion Foundation. This is in the shade Nude Ivory. Like, look, why does it have to do this? It's just too much. I don't like it. It gets so messy. Oh, well. YOLO. So, I hope this shade matches me. I think it will. I really like this foundation. It's quite nice. Très joli as the French say. So now I'm just popping on a bit of concealer in the usual places. My skin is so bad lately. Like I don't know why it's doing all these breakouts but being a bit of a bitch to be honest I'm not gonna lie to you like look at the amount of concealer that I've on it's gonna be too big for getting into the corners of my eyes Now to set everything, I'm going to use the MUA translucent powder and put that all over. I am going to be doing a giveaway as well. Um, I was kind of torn whether to do it on the new year or before Christmas and I've got so much going on at the minute. I think I'm just going to do it at the new year. So, so I am going to be bronzing with the Essence Sun Club. Uh, it's a bit orange tone. So, I don't know how I'm going to be feeling about this. But, oh, it's actually not too bad. If you use it in small portions, it's actually fine. Yeah, that's nice. Go Essence. I think it just looks very daunting because it's very orange toned. But it's actually fine. And I'm going to be going in with this bra or with this blush from the Catrice. What's this called? Patrice Blush Artist Shading Palette in the shade 30 Rock and Rose. I just want something. A bit kind of sparkly and some people don't like like shimmery blushes they prefer matte but I love shimmery blushes then for highlight I'm gonna be using lunch money by Colourpop and I'm gonna be applying this on the tops of my cheekbones down my nose over my lip my brow bone and just a tiny bit on my forehead and my inner corner too oh rain please go away i don't need it i don't have time for it today i really don't i really really don't right now for brows I'm going to be going in with an all-time favourite, the Soap and Glory Archery um, Brow Pencil. And I'm just going to kind of lightly do them today. I'm not really too bothered. It's all going to wash off me as soon as I go out the door anyway. Like It's actually pointless. Oh Jesus, sure that's a marker. Oh, I thought that was a spoolie. Should we do a wee bit on the marker?
I'm going to be going in in the waterline with W7 Day, what is it called? W7 Dream Draw Eyeliner. Just to brighten up the eyes. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes a wee bit. To get them ready for mascara. And I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. I for actually forgot how much I like this mascara. To finish off the look, I'm going to be going in with the Penny's Velvet Stick and Glossy Stick. This, The Velvet Stick first is in the shade Penny Star and it's just a lovely rosy mauve colour. It's just really natural mauve colour and then the glossy stick is in the shade Radiant Rose and I'm just going to put that over the top So that is this look done and dusted. Um, I hope you like it. Sorry my hair is such a mess. I don't know what happened. It's sticking out everywhere but YOLO. Um, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss the giveaway happening in January.